hello 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 it's Anna with you and I'm filming this video the day after the uh, final exam of the piscine at 42 school in Paris and uh, it's gonna be the summary the overall feelings and findings of this unique experience at 42 school I'm gonna tell you about yeah about my feelings about what I think about it and some uh, some details about the final exam as well because I'm not gonna make the video just devoted to the last day because it was only the exam and after the exam we had a party with um, with my friends with guys who um, with whom I met at the piscine yeah when I came back home I wasn't <laughs> really into filming the video so I'm doing it now the day after the exam and I'm gonna upload this video on YouTube as like the first video because I feel it, it's kind of logical to tell you the overall experience and then I'm gonna upload, I film the videos just day by day, each day of the piscine, my feelings, my findings, what happened during the day. Uh, we're told like yes about this experience day by day, but today is kind of a very very summary of it So let's go the first thing I want to tell like that like, I really changed as a person I changed some of my point of views. How do I feel myself in in this world? I don't know. I don't know how to tell how to express it, but basically like I changed myself in the sphere of like communication with people right now it's like because of the peer-to-peer -peer, uh, learning system you ask for help uh, and you are very and now I'm very comfortable in asking for help I realized that I I like working in teams and I like to be the leader of the team even though I don't have so much competence that maybe there is like a strong person who has more competence but if I understand the task if I understand the idea I like to lead like I like to give like okay you're doing this because you're good at this and you're doing that because you're good at that something like that and the other thing that I realized is that like I could do so much like I could work so much on the things that I really like and like I'm right now I'm really into the programming and coding um, and it's like really fascinates me and no matter if I'm accepted to school or not I'm gonna continue coding, I'm gonna continue learning this interesting sphere and I understood that I could, I was so limited, I thought like I couldn't do this, I'm not able to do this and that, but right now we understand like no, there are no limits, you could do anything, it only matters on your attitude towards the task, um, yes, just, just do it, that's it, that's like my motto right now. And the other thing is like without people. I wouldn't be able to do so much of it. I wouldn't be able just to understand maybe basic concepts. It, thanks to guys who explained to me so much. Uh, thanks to anyone who supported me morally, because it was difficult morally. It was difficult physically. It, it was difficult to learn so much every day. But with the help of people who I met, and I'm like, guys, thank you very much, you know, if you're watching this video, you know that you really helped me. I wouldn't give you names because I don't want to offend someone by forgetting to mention them in this video. But uh, yeah, just with whom anyone with whom I communicated these days helped me somehow. Some people helped me more, some people less, but still, thank you. Thank you very much. Grand bisou. And yeah, as for French, I improved my French so much, really, before the piscine, I, yeah, but basically when I came to Paris this time, I was already able to speak, but I had a kind of fear and I felt a little bit uncomfortable in speaking French, but right now, like, I, I can say that I speak fluently, because with French people I communicated only in French and I thought that it was more useful if they explained me the concepts, the code in French because it's their mother tongue and I saw that French people, yeah, they improved their English because there were some international students, international piscineux uh, who didn't speak French, um, just spoke a little bit so and French people tried to explain that in English 
and even though like there are some French people who are really struggling with English they I think they improved I, I saw that they improved I, I believe that you attract people who suit you and the thing is that like I luckily met so cool people with whom I day by day I worked at the same rows just nearby and there was like kind of atmosphere of motivation inspiration and kindness and uh, chill at the same time they learned Russian <laughs> just to make some just to make fun <laughs> and I hope we all get accepted to school and yes yeah, some of our guys they bet on um, coloring blonde their hair if they are accepted so <laughs> we'll see it's very funny now I, I didn't participate in this challenge but it would be funny to see them after they get accepted and as for the results I managed to it was four weeks of intensive deep learning I spent like on average 12 hours per day in front of the computer actually there in your profile you could see how much time you spend each day in front of the computer with you with um, looking at your log time and you could see as well uh, the profile of anyone else at the school their level how much time did they spend on the computer how did they pass the project everything any information where is this person sitting um, because like when you log into the computer you displays where your uh, floor your wrench and your seat so you could find anyone by yeah by using the system sometimes I spend less time less time sometimes I spend more like there are days with 15 hours or 16 hours um, yeah but that's that's how it works you you work every day a lot and that's how you learn so fast that's 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 a secret you just work and that's it um, yeah and I finished with the level 7 regarding my projects and the results of the exams uh, I failed the first exam uh, but I managed to launch it because it's a challenge even it's a challenge to just to yes to launch the exam it's like not so easy just you come and yeah you write the exam no 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 you have to launch it and it's kind of mystery that other peers would tell you so I wouldn't tell you in my video but uh, yes you should ask just it's I think it's the they check your sociability for me like the guy whom I met who passed the piscine in June uh, he told me about how to log in I told to other people how to log in there are people who retried the piscine so they also knew how to log in and if you met these guys they also would tell you how to log in how to launch the exam so it's the matter of your sociability because if you are doing this alone it's like it's almost impossible to to figure it out how to yeah how to launch the exam for the first time the thing that I'm really disappointed about myself is that I that I didn't have any progress in terms of the exams just every time I the second third and the final I had the same result that's not really good because I didn't show the progress um, especially like for the final exam the task was so easy and I did it but I don't know it worked but I don't know I I just re I just made it like I passed it for six times and every time it was like fail 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 and I don't know I spent eight hours on the exam but this time I don't know if I told you about it in the video about the exam but if you are interested in the exam system you could watch it I'll link here and in the description um, in the final exam you have eight hours and it lasts from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. I spent all of the time so eight hours in front of the computer just having some it's not it were not breaks it, it was just organizedly going to the toilet that's it we're like we we were not allowed to go to have lunch or something you could bring some snacks with you but I didn't uh, and water so and that's it uh, I had a headache after the exam because it really like eight hours sitting in front of the computer and just being nervous um, it's very stressful you know anyway I passed it I validated it just by bare minimum but I'm happy that I passed at least I passed uh, as for the projects, uh, it's also like kind of disappointing thing that 
As for the group projects, I haven't passed any of the group project. The first one was easy, but we had a stupid mistake just in the name of the function and our program worked, but yeah. The second and the third were really difficult and in my team, like the second time we had, we were on the same level and that didn't allow us just, and the task was very, very complicated. So we couldn't manage to do it like properly. Uh, we did it somehow, a program worked a little bit, but in some certain cases, but in any case, how so we got zero. And as I told you before, like it is very intense four weeks and basically you have no time to do any social activities. I deleted my social networks. I wasn't on Instagram and YouTube and anywhere, only in messengers in case of like mm, communicating uh, with my friends if they needed something with my family. But I still managed to meet some friends in Paris in the first week after the exam. I met with my friends in the, on the second week no i think on the third week i managed to met uh one of my friend on tuesday one of my friend on thursday and we spent an evening together uh on the fourth week as well i had a lunch with my friend and yeah i spent an evening with my friend so it's possible to um yeah to manage your social life a little bit but still you have to devote any minute, any second, every day to code into Fortitude School during the passing. And another like advice and things to tell is that I got sick on the first week and I'm still like <coughs> coughing a little bit. There was a time that I couldn't that I couldn't fall asleep because of the cough. Literally I was like coughing for one of two hours um, and tried to fall asleep and it was like very very difficult but and yeah, my advice is just because of the air conditioning system, sometimes it is on, sometimes they put it off. And there are also, there are always people around you who are sick. And so they, the infection is everywhere, the bacteria. And so with your, with your weak immune system, because of the hard work, because of the tiredness, uh, it's very likely that you get sick as well. So take vitamins, eat fruits, vegetables, anything that would help you to resist from the viruses that are going around. That's how it was, the piscina of Fortitude School. Um, and yeah, if you like this, um, if you wanna see my journey of this amazing month of August in Paris, uh, follow me here. And tell your friends about this video who are interested in coding or participating in the piscine or yeah in the united states there is a fortitude school as well in the silicon valley there are many um franchising companies that have the same system as fortitude school in russia it's 21 school i know there is school in ukraine and bulgaria uh, maybe in other countries yeah there are like plenty of franchising companies who do the same thing and just just do it really and thank you very much again for watching this video i hope it was very useful for you and interesting for you uh see you see you in the next bunch of videos of every day of my experience in fortitude school and i would have also videos about my coding experience uh, my thoughts about it thank you again and hope to see you in the next video Bisous. bye